Welcome, in front of me I have Polar Ignite and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the Android phone. Before we start, there is two ways of pairing this watch with a phone. The first method is to do it during the setup process of the watch. So basically if your watch is brand new or it's been reset to the factory default settings. And the second method is to do it via the settings after the watch has been already set up. First I'm gonna show you how to do it uh, during the setup process and then I'm gonna show you how to do it via the settings. Okay, let's continue with the pairing. So first thing you will need to do is to turn on your watch and you can do it by either plugging the watch into a charger or pressing and holding the uh, side button right here, the back button for a couple of seconds. After the watch turns on and it's brand new or it's been reset to the factory default settings, you should see the list of languages on the screen. And you can scroll through this list by swiping up and down on the screen. Find the language you like to use and tap on it to select it. Once you select the language, you will be asked uh, how do you, do you want to set up your watch and you have options like on your phone, on your computer and on your watch. We want to pair our watch with a phone, so we're gonna select on your phone option. But before we do that, we need to download and install the Polar Flow application on our phone. So, uh, make sure you have connection to the internet on your phone, open the Play Store, tap on the search bar, type in Polar Flow, and tap search. Now, you can tap on the install button to download and install the application. And after the application is done installing, you can tap on the open button to open it. In the app, you will get a couple of pop-ups. The first one will be about the terms of use. Tap on the accept. And then you will get this pop-up about the uh, permission for the location. Tap on OK. And if you want to pair the watch with your phone, I believe you need to allow the location permission. So I'm gonna tap on while using the app. And the app will bother you again about the permission for the location. You can tap on OK. And basically what the app wants is to allow it all the time, even though you're not using the app. And you can simply tap on allow all the time and go back. But if you want, uh, you don't want to allow the location permission for the, all the time, you can just tap on back. The app will keep uh, asking you to allow it, but after some time, it's gonna give up. Um, so you can do it if you want to. Okay. Once you're done with the permissions, you should see the uh, login page of the app. And here you can, of course, log in into a Polar account or create a new account. I already have an account, so I'm gonna tap on sign in, tap right here, enter the email address, then tap right here and enter the password. Then we can tap on sign in. And here we can set up some settings for the profile, like uh, gender, date of birth, height, and weight, basically by tapping on them and setting them up. And once you're done, you can tap on continue. Here you have the tutorial how to use the app. We can tap on get started and go through it. I'm just gonna tap on skip. And once you're done with the uh, tutorials and stuff like that, after you log in, you should see the today page on the app. Now, we can go to our watch, select the on your phone option to enter the pairing mode on your watch. It should look like this. And once you enter the pairing mode, the app should detect the watch automatically. We can tap on start. Then tap on pair on connect on the phone, pair, and then tap on the check mark to confirm on the watch. Right here we can set up some settings, uh, or rather customize some settings for our watch, like time format. We can change it by selecting one uh, on which wrist we prefer to wear our watch. We can change the language and also we can uh, set the preferred sleep time. And then you can tap on save and sync. And here we have the tutorial how to use the watch. You can tap on a view introduction to go through it. I'm just gonna tap on skip. And now let's wait until the watch is done syncing with our phone. Okay, and once the watch is done syncing with your phone, you should be able to use it now. As you can see, we can use our watch. Also, um, when you 
tap on the menu icon in the app, open the menu, tap on devices, you should see your Polar Ignite on the list of devices right here. And that's how you pair the watch uh, during the setup process. If you want to pair it uh, via the settings, basically you need to do all the things almost the same. The only difference is that you need to open the settings on your watch. So you need to press the back button to wake up the screen, then press it again to open the menu, scroll down through the menu. Oh, my bad. Open the menu, scroll down, find the settings icon, tap on it to enter the settings and settings you need to tap on general settings then pair and sync and here you need to tap on pair and sync phone to enter the pairing mode and if you're logged in into an app the app should detect your watch automatically and basically uh, you need to repeat the steps we did before in the app and once you're done the watch should pair with your phone okay and that's how you pair this watch with the Android phone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.